When talking about a shark team, there's three ways that I see you can take it. One is the in-battle scaling, where you don't really do anything in the shop, you just get high level sharks and a ton of summons, and they turn into 50-50s in battle. Um, it's a little more susceptible to snipes, which aren't a huge issue this week. Number two, you get one shark, one mantis, and just hyperscale the two of them as fast as possible, and get to 10 wins before the other people catch up. The third one, maybe my favorite one, you get two sharks, either a mantis or a deer lord, and you just gradually scale everybody up together in the shop. Outscales a lot of builds. Let me know which method you guys prefer. We'll investigate all three of them in this video. We'll see which ones come out on top. Hope you enjoy. I mean, I love the double ant here. The possum, we can make it work. There'll be some space dumplings. I think they're allowed to have dumplings in space. I would reckon probably not, but... Maybe there's some like space version of dumplings, but not like the the tourist ver space food. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Where they just like freeze dry ice cream and they're like, look, <laughs> it doesn't have water. Wow, fascinating. Talking like actual space food, the gross stuff in a pouch. Dehydrate, dehydrated, hydrogenated. What word am I looking for here? Let's go lizard. And we should be good. Maybe we set it up like this. Yeah, I think this is good. So we can look for another anteater potentially. For our opossum. I don't want to sell the opossum just yet. Because he's like kind of good. Mm. Okay, we'll take a draw I guess. We'll take the draw. Um, these all kinda suck. Let's roll. <laughs> Same. They're all kinda bad. I'm not liking any of these really. What if we do this? Do it hits Anteater. Not really who we were hoping for, but I mean it'll work. Here we go, Rice Dolphin. Rice Dolphin goes kind of hard. It's kind of good, you can't deny it. Look at that. Rice Dolphin doing work. And we draw again. <laughs> How many times can we draw it? Let's find out. Okay, so here's what I think we need to do here. We'll go Honey Badger. Um, interesting. I mean, the, the opossum doesn't make sense here anymore on the anteater, unless we were to side stack them. Maybe we just go here and then we go betta fish. Hold the pill. Got a level up next turn, that's kind of nice. We're running like this. That way our goldfish is actually useful. Kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Always the bus. I didn't think we'd see buses this early, but here we are. Should have known better. Yeah, I mean, these guys kind of suck a little bit. Let's fail you. I mean, we could maybe go skeleton dog, but. Even that's a little underwhelming right now. If we have to, we have to, you know. <laughs> Another anteater. What if we just throw in a slime? Get the slime cooking. Works well with sharps later. For what that's worth. He's also running slimes, look at that. And as usual, Honey Badger takes it home. Alright, so here's where we need to decide how we're playing this game. Are we going Praying Mantis? Um, probably, yeah. I reckon, especially since we have Blobfish. If we do that though, we have to 
we have to do a pretty hard pivot here. And we have a whole turn invested in our slime, so... <laughs> We, we can't make this pivot lightly, is what I'm getting at. Go here. I don't want to kill that anteater just yet. Roll me. Go here, that's fine. Roll me. Shark? No shark. Never lucky. Okay. Um, I don't think we need chicken. This is a shark kind of vibe right here. Curious. Very curious. Okay. Oh, looky what we got here. Is this shark territory? Of course not. <laughs> it never is. Um, let's go... I think we sell you. And then we can go... Mantis. Combine. Blobfish. Maybe it's worth eating the alpaca since we're going to want a crow here anyway. Actually, I don't know if we are going to want a crow here. Um, let's try to find a shark. I feel like shark is the way to do it here. Okay, looking pretty solid. I think this has to be a, a new land speed record. We're getting the, <laughs> the Mantis level 3. Level 3 in 2 turns. Impressive. 2.5 I guess we'll say. Did I not call it? <laughs> Did I not call it? Alright. We're cooking up. I guess we want it like that, don't we? So now we need something that doesn't summon anything, because we want both anteater summons. So, what does that look like? Maybe you? Alright. Where do we go, melon? Maybe we go melon here. That's probably the better play, I would have to imagine. Okay. And we should have plenty to get through the rest of these guys. And there we go. Maybe not plenty. Maybe plenty is a little much, but you've got enough. So now we could just hold it like this. Um, we'll kind of have to see how it lines up. I would rather get a blobfish on the shark. Chimera with double mana potion is always tempting, but I don't think we'd do that. I want to get some chocolates. Do we have any chocolate out here? Anyone got any? There we go. There's the chocolate. So now we could... We could do a snapping turtle. We already have melon though. I don't know if skewer is going to be that much better. Maybe it will. Who's to say? Okay, well, melon worked much better this time. <laughs> For what that's worth. Hey. Not very nice. My honey badger turned into a fire badger. And now we go... Somebody. I think we just look for another shark, probably. I don't know what else we would want from here. Betta fish, maybe. I'll throw it in. Hold you. What if we do something insane? Hold on. 
we do this and then we do this. So now it's going to summon flies every time that the mantis eats and then it's just like free, free mantis triggers basically. Or we can sell it if we want extra gold. You can do anything you want. Oh dude, we're cooking. <laughs> we're cooking up a storm out here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Don't even need to get to this shark yet. Oh, and we got the fly. Thank you. Another fly. We can get another shark, that'd be kind of cool, but this is a fun build. <laughs> this one seems to work very well. Though I will have to mention, the zombie flies do not additionally summon more flies. Um, at least they don't in battle, so I would assume they don't here either. If we want that, we're gonna just need to sell them and buy someone else. Yeah, see, they don't summon anything there. Alrighty. Um, that's looking pretty strong. I think we go blobfish here. Sure. Get some extra gold. Don't mind if I do. This is turning out to be a very decisive victory. <laughs> it's going quite well. We got a Quetzalcoatl, Piranha. Yeah, I mean, none of these are really great. Maybe we can go for an early... No. I was looking for Nessie, but... Didn't find any. Run it like this. No, I guess we could have bought sold you. It's alright. See if we can find Nessie. If not, <laughs> no worries. More of a side quest, if anything. If it happens to work out, great. But if we're going out here looking for it, oh, we're gonna be in trouble. Man, dude. See, we're not even getting to the shark out here. <laughs> Maybe Mantis is just busted. Well, it definitely is. Okay. Now we can do this. We can go level 3 zombie fly. Which I don't think we've won with yet. So that could be kind of cool. And we're still relatively early on, where I feel like we might be able to might be able to just win here, get our zombie fly dub. But if not, we'll have we'll have some more <laughs> some more scaling to do a little bit, not a whole lot, but some. And there it is. Get that sweet zombie fly victory. Very chill, very easy. I mean, that's just the, the as good as you can get as far as praying mantis shark combo. You throw a little fly in the mix, it just helps out a lot. All right, kicking it off right here. Let's see how we're doing. Um, yeah, well, we should probably spend the rest of our gold. You're right. Definitely right here. Let's be some clean monks. Pretty sure most of them are. They don't have any hair. I feel like that automatically makes you cleaner. Just like in a vacuum, I guess. Um, we we did lose here. Can't say I'm that surprised. I, I guess I would expect a draw here, but so be it. Get a level up queued next turn. I mean, I'm down to run a level 3 beaver. <laughs> it doesn't seem fantastic, but... Let's full send it, I guess. And we get a draw this time, yeah. Without any summons, it's kind of tough to get wins early. And late, for that matter. Speaking of summons... Actually, hold on, hold on. We could do Dear Lord Betta Fish. The classic combo, everybody's favorite. Keep the rerolls for next turn. 
So he pops out as an 8-5 effectively now, and then immediately dies to a pig. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, well, let's... I guess we'll just keep trying to get this level 3 beaver, I don't know. I've become a huge fan of the, the lizard lately. I think lizard is just fantastic. On anything good? No. We'll just eat a penguin, I guess. I think lizard early, this weekly at least, is just so strong. It feels very good. Hence why this homie's running two of them. Okay. Looking all right. Okay, so, I mean, we're level three. I don't know if the penguin is really cutting the cake, so to speak. Something good here, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Not great, but it might lead to something great. Holy stars, okay. That's a lot of stars. Um, okay, so we have a wyvern, so this is huge. Um, I think we prioritize the one that we know we can level up next turn, and maybe? Okay, we're going to be inting the round here, but we'll get extra gold, which helps out our pivot turn next turn. So maybe we'll just accept that we're going to be at four hearts, but then have a better pivot. I don't know. You can debate that one <laughs> if you want, I don't know. I'm not fully convinced, but we might as well try it. So as expected, we do get a, a loss there, but also expected. Hold on. Two wyverns? Into pretty lackluster ensemble we got here. I think turtle is probably going to be the play, but... <laughs> Considering how much we devoted to that one, can't say I'm thrilled. Okay. Oh, alright. He's spawning a tail for us, thank you. I remember reading somewhere that, like, so there's only certain lizards that actually drop their tails when they're scared or when they're hurt. So I feel like it would have been kind of nice if they like specified which lizard it is. I feel like that would have been cool. I don't know if it's like a newt or a skink. I think that's a type of lizard. I'm not entirely sure, but would have been neat. We got a shark here. I think we can definitely roll with a, a shark deer lord. The natural combo. And it didn't take any wyverns to get there. How nice is that? Um, yep, shark doing shark things, naturally. Okay. And yeah, I have been informed that <laughs> the turtle doesn't waste his melon here. So we're gonna... We're gonna implement this little nice tack here, get the swan a little melon action. Maybe get the lizard a melon. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Okay, melon's doing work, love to see it. We're gonna have enough to kill this shark. Yeah, okay, we're good. We got plenty. The lizard actually pairs very well with a shark, crazy enough. That's like one guaranteed summon, usually, and one like usually gonna get a summon. I'd say like basically guaranteed and then like kind of expected for the second one. Okay, so the monkey shouldn't hit the the uh, turtle here. I don't think. Because it should faint from the deer lord first. But I guess it's possible that it doesn't. Let's see. Okay, we're good. It did work how I expected it to. I also found out on the stream um, last weekend, apparently <laughs> the turtle is not actually, it's like a subset of turtle, but like technically if it walks on legs, it's a tortoise. Um, if you're like a science nerd or something. So 
you know, do with that information as you will. Uh, let's see if we can get a shark. Yeah, okay. Um, I, this feels like a double stack shark angle. I think we've got consistent deer lord, deer lording. We can just go here, do this. Um, oh, <laughs> I need to focus up. I thought the, I just assumed the shark costed three, even though it said a big zero next to it. Um, that's why I didn't put him down yet, but I should have, of course, um, prior to placing the bro. Blue ringed octopus. Okay. The bacons are feeling a little less important as we go, I'll be honest. I'm not actually sure if we want to be baconing. The only reason we're still baconing is because the deer lord needs to faint stuff to, to feed the sharks. Otherwise, I don't think we would. Now, I'm kind of looking at doing a snapping turtle here. The reason being... Um, it has the ability to take out multiple melons in one go, like behind without hitting the big unit. Um, but I think we put the shark up front here just to, to be that initial melon breaker in case they got a big homie or feed him to a rabbit, I guess is also an option. <laughs> but like we got our big shark in the back. He's the, he's the real one doing things. This little shark has, has some growing to do. Okay, so maybe we use the cow here. Try to correct some of this asymmetric attack scaling on our dear lord. The swan might be a lost cause. <laughs> He's got a lot of asymmetry going here. But maybe that's fine too, I don't know. Let's see. Um... I think we just Easter egg here. We could also throw in the cow, um, just like over stack them or something. Maybe that would be better. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, see, look, we got the melon breakers. Um, this should be enough, right? I don't have any big homies yet. Yeah, we're good. Beyond the first melon homie. I got nothing. Um, yeah, I think the cow would have been better. The Monty, you know, you're paying three gold to get one gold back the next turn. And we're playing the cow anyway, so I think we probably should have done it. Okay, let's see. Um, we can stoat if we can get like a cheap... Oh, hold on. That's great. You get an Excalibur, probably get the back shark evened out a little bit. That was like about as good as you could hope for. I think we're good here. So now it's like, so we got passive scaling between the sharks and the deer lord. Um, and then I guess bacon kind of counts as passive scaling if you like squint a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think we're in a good spot. So now we just feed the swan a bunch of food, I suppose. Give him some turkey legs. He's gonna get very fat on turkey legs here. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh, uh, let's see. Blobfish, we can get level three. Porridge is gonna help offset some of this scaling too. Maybe they got something good next round. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't need to freeze the deer lord, do I? Oops. That is not necessary. See, this is why it's nice to have a homie up front who's not too strong. Would have helped break through that guy much easier. And now we're gonna lose. Feels bad, man. Okay. Anglerfish. What do we got here? Hey, there it is. Shark level 2. Get a little freebie going here. So this is the point where I would like to get rid of the swan or something else, maybe a fly or something, but 
It feels like we're in too deep now. <laughs> it's a 41 attack swan with melon. I would feel ridiculous getting rid of him at this point. So we're just gonna full on sunk cost fallacy this homie. See what happens. Okay. Alright, we can we can possibly get a level three shark coming up here. Maybe he'll catch up to the 3232 shark before we get to the end. God, the mantis just took out three homies. That is not good. <laughs> no no no. Actually I guess we're fine. We were two attack off from winning that, surprisingly. Even though our whole team got wiped. Okay, um, let's see. We could eat the ant. I think since we have an oyster in the shop, we take this opportunity to find another shark. There you go. That's a shark, kind of. Mm. See, now it's a matter of what do we even build toward right now, you know? Like, what are we really going for? I don't know. I'm, I genuinely do not know. We're just kind of waiting for these sharks to scale, and then I'm going to be extra lost. Oh, baby, the melon buster in action. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, what else? Um, we'll get you to 50. I guess we might as well get you to 50 as well. Yeah, I mean, if we didn't have the sharks relying on this deer lord here, I would have stopped eating stuff a long time ago. But we kind of have to. It is our obligation at this point. Okay, I guess we'll go pair. Get you almost maxed out. Very close. And now we have another melon buster, so that's awesome. Let's see what they got. Oh dude, two attack off. We desperate. Oh, I guess we don't need it that bad. I was gonna say we desperately need to get him to 50 attack, but apparently it doesn't actually matter. Um, okay, so we can we can give it to the Deer Lord, but I'd almost rather just get I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what to put there. Like, do we stop eating? We kind of have to eat for the giraffe, or for the sharks. I don't know. Um, this is so awkward. I don't like any of this. This is a very uncomfortable setup we got here. I don't know what to do. Um, get you to 50, I guess, would be step one. Get the, the swan going. I know I fed the bacon to the bus, but <laughs> let's do this. That way we have another melon breaker. Let's be real, the nobody else needs the bacon. The bacon is a side... A side effect that is completely and utterly unnecessary. I would rather not have the bacon if I could avoid it. Because we just don't get food then. But now I think we can actually ditch the... The deer lord fainting thing, because our sharks are big enough. And, I mean, maybe we could have last turn too. I don't know. It's also a question of the melon breaker, right? You like to have a melon breaker up front. If we don't have... It's like you have to get a summon pet. See, look how nice the melon breaker would have been there. Look how beautiful that would have been. <laughs> Instead, now we're getting absolutely schmunked. Alright, well... Maybe we get the bus cooked up. Maybe we find another melon breaker. Who knows? We'll see. I mean, another deer would be kind of nice, but I'm not seeing any of those. Beluga sturgeon doesn't count either because they go in the back. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we don't need the avocado. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Please, no melon up front. Okay. That is a very generous team we got here. <laughs> they really just said, nah, I don't need the win. <laughs> they got like 
two just under 30s. I like the original shark build that we got going. Maybe we can pull off something like that, but better. That'd be kind of neat. Um, I think. Oh yeah, dude. Crickets are the pig the pig's worst nightmare. Like pig kryptonite out here. I mean, I'm down to greed with the mouse. Maybe they'll run a front pig. They did not run a front pig, but we do get the dub. I'm starting to come... I'm starting to warm up to the idea of running a mouse. Now, for sure, it's not, like, amazing, but... There's something there to be said. Um, we, we already tried the whole Dear Lord nonsense. Maybe we just don't <laughs> this time. Maybe we, we do something else. I don't know what that something else is going to look like, though. Mm. Okay, we're trading kind of one for one-ish. Okay. Is it a shrimp angle? It might be. I don't know. I'll grab him, but we're not married to the idea. We can... We can get rid of him at any point. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, let's not even sell the dude. We're n we don't have a level 2 shrimp, there's no reason to start buy-selling. Let's try to get some levels. Get, like, a respectable pivot going. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's roll here. We are approaching a level 2 shrimp. Ooh, let's see what we get. I mean, okay. Chili early is very good. Let's not, let's not forget that chili is kind of busted early game. Um, case in point. <laughs> the, the two guys took out almost their entire team. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a strong team. We got a ton of health. We just gotta make sure we can round out the pivot. I'm down to use health as leverage if needed. What I don't want to happen is we just stall out and then lose. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta be careful. We have to be very efficient with our health usage. So even if we're losing health, I want it to be for a reason, not just because we're bad. You know, that I think that's a fair thing, you know? It's a fair request. Ah, I was hoping for a shark. Um, I mean, we could run an alpaca and hope we find a shark later. Maybe that's the play. I mean, honestly, a 6-7 right now? That's pretty strong. Yeah, I think this is fine. We didn't get to use our chili though, which makes me a little sad. Okay, that's fine. That was a giant lizard. We're big, but we're not that big. I mean, I don't want to preemptively run Mantis, because I don't even know if we're doing... Okay, we're doing Shark. <laughs> now I wish we ran the Mantis, but, you know, so be it. Okay, two alpacas. If we find another shark, we can do something crazy with it. Um, but we're gonna have to find a shark to do that. Running chicken. I respect it. And then, yeah, the shark's just gonna clean up here. Okay. Side stacking alpacas has to be one of my favorite pastimes. It's so satisfying. Just getting a level two right out the gate. Part of me wishes that they brought back the old alpaca, but I know it would be a little problematic. Ooh, we did find the shark. I think we go shark here. Um, 
So here's my issue. Ooh. Hold on. Hold that thought. We could also be running Phoenix. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of good summon options for the shark here. Um, yeah, maybe Phoenix would be the way to do it. I'm considering deer as well. So we can do the strat where you just don't scale the shark at all in shop and you just get a ton of summons. We haven't really tried that route all that much. Maybe that's the way to do it. Um, let's see. So I think we start Phoenix because Phoenix is kind of bust. And we're getting Hydras again. So this is a kind of a weird one, right? You don't want to play anything that you're going to keep because otherwise the, you're going to miss out on the alpaca chocolate. Like we could Hydra here, but then we'd have to sell it. Maybe we deer and then we sell the deer next turn. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. I mean, we can't really use the alpaca here. If I found another shark, I'd combine these two sharks and then we'd have a little more leeway with the double alpaca. But I don't want to jump to a level three shark and then not have anything else on our team. Because at the end of the day, the shark is doing the majority of the work. The majority of the lifting force out here. There it is. Okay. We're also on nine wins, so we might just kind of cook it right here. That'd be nice. Okay, so we can get a level three here. And now we're running into the same issue of, do we play our unit here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, okay. Here's what I think. We go Flamingo as a kind of stand-in. If we win, great. If not, we'll be better next turn for it. Uh, we very well might win here. Hold on. Okay. No, we don't. Okay, the chili won it for him there. If he didn't get the chili, we would have won. Okay, so now we can do this. Fly is going to be permanent, so we can sell the alpaca and then go Hydra. And then look for fly levels. That'll do. Um, we don't really have any buy sell room anymore, so let's just not. Let's just not and pretend that we did. We could also sell the Hydra. If it comes to it, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes here. I mean, this is kind of looking over right now already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See these sharks, we didn't have to scale at all and they're already pretty huge. I mean, is that super exciting? I don't know. Maybe. But it works well. It's a fun build. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.